A few months ago, I got an email from someone with a question on inside miters for crown molding, and the project they were making uh, was a chalkboard. And he sent me a link to Pinterest so I could see the chalkboard, and it's really pretty nice. So I thought, you know, that's kind of something that uh, that I'd like to have in the kitchen. So I asked my wife first, and she said, yeah, that's a great idea. So that's what I'm going to make today. And I've made a drawing of the chalkboard, sort of like a if you were to cross cut a section of it. And uh, if you want to build this, just go to my website. I'll make sure that this is up there when I post the video. The frame is made with four pieces of molding. We have a piece of bed molding that dresses the frame up. It looks like a small crown, but it's actually referred to as bed molding. We have a piece in the back here that's two and three quarters, a piece that measures two inches, and this piece is three eighths by three quarters. And these three pieces will all be cut from a one by six. And you just need to remember that a one by six actually measures three quarters of an inch by five and a half. I've already ripped all of my molding to width, and so I'm gonna start by building the outside of the frame. And that's this part right here. I want the outside of the frame to measure 30 by 40 inches. So I've cut a miter in one end of the board, and then I'll pull from the long point of the miter, and you can see I've already put a mark at 30 inches. And then just do the same thing for the 40 inch cut. Now that I've got the outside of the frame put together, I'm gonna to start working on the inside of the frame. And the piece of molding on the inside of the frame needs a little work done to it. Uh, let me bring the camera in and I'll show you the drawing. This is the next step, and I'll need to cut a chamfer into this piece of molding. And I'll use a router to do that. And I also need to cut a rabbit to accept the masonite, which is the chalkboard. And for this, I'll use the table saw. I used my router to cut the chamfer in this piece of molding, but you could also use a table saw. The only thing about using a table saw is you're gonna end up with blade marks and it's just more sanding that has to be done. Now, the rabbit that I made is a half of an inch by 3 16 and I have it written as 1 8 but it's actually 3 16 and I'll change that in a minute. But that's the thickness of the masonite that I'm going to use for the chalkboard. I've ripped a piece of MDF at 5 eighths of an inch and I'm going to use that as a spacer to help me set the molding in the right place. So if the MDF is flush with the back of the frame, as I nail the molding to the frame, it will be in the right place. And I'll use this to work my way around the frame. I've got a 2 inch nail in my nail gun and I'm trying to sneak a nail right at that rabbit, but hopefully not blowing out the other side. I've just finished attaching the inner frame, and now I'm ready to move on to the small crown, or in this case, the bed molding. To cut the crown molding, I'll align the molding on the fence of the saw in the same direction that it will be attached to the inside of the frame. Next, I'll push the long point of the molding 
into the inside corner and at the opposite end I'll make a mark for the next cut. Now I like to sneak up on this cut. I'd rather cut it a little heavy and then have to trim it than cut it short and waste a piece of molding. Yeah, and that is still a little heavy, so I'll have to take a little more off. Okay, good. I'm going to take a break from the frame for now and get a coat of the chalkboard paint on the chalkboard because I think it'll probably need at least uh, maybe two, maybe even three coats. Now, I've heard that you can buy just plain chalkboard, almost like a plywood but a chalkboard surface, but I went to the home store and there was just no luck. Nobody really even knew what I was talking about. They just kept saying, a chalkboard paint? So that's what I did. I went and bought a quart of chalkboard paint and I'm going to use foam rollers to apply the paint because I want a really smooth surface. Uh, I don't want a lot of tooth or texture because whenever I think of a chalkboard I think of something very smooth. Well, I've got a few coats of paint on the chalkboard, so I'm ready to start working on the frame again. And the next step is to make and then attach the small piece of molding that goes on the front of the frame. And that's this piece here. Now, I had a round over on the edge of the molding, but second thought, I think it's better, it would actually be better if I could have a cove, but I don't have a cove router bit. So I'm gonna use a chamfer bit to create a tray and in this tray is where the chalk will rest when it's not being used. I'm also going to put a little round over on the back of the molding. When I attach the molding to the front of the frame, I want a quarter inch reveal on the outside. So I've cut a piece of scrap wood at a quarter of an inch and I'll trace a line on the outside edge of the frame. I'm holding the quarter inch spacer flush with the outside of the frame and then trace a line and I'll work my way around the frame. And once I have that line, I can then start to attach the molding. Well, I almost forgot before I attach the molding, I need to put a slight round over on the front outside edge and also on the back. When I attach the molding, I'll align the long point of the miter where the pencil lines bisect and at the other end make a mark for the next cut. Well that's it for the molding, but before I sand the frame and start to paint it, I want to get a measurement for the quarter inch plywood that's going to sandwich the chalkboard into place. I did get one nail blowout when I was attaching the inner piece of molding, but this will be covered with the quarter inch plywood and also it's on the back of the frame. But I want to pull it out before I attach the back. Oh. 
Jeez. Looks like I'm just gonna have to cut it. Well, I've got the frame upside down. I'm gonna explain how the chalkboard will fit inside the frame. Now I've milled the molding the same thickness as the masonite, but I wanted something a little bit more rigid. I felt there's too much flex in a piece of 3 16 masonite. So now a piece of quarter inch plywood will sandwich the chalkboard in place and the quarter inch plywood will be screwed to the inner frame. And there's still a little bit of room here so I can hang the frame using the French cleat system. I'll use the French cleat system to hang the chalkboard and this way the chalkboard will always be straight on the wall. And that looks pretty good. What we're going to use the chalkboard for is grocery lists and maybe recipes but also for inspirational sayings and, and maybe uh, famous quotes. Now, I'm sure you noticed that I was painting the surface of the chalkboard with, uh, this is a Bondo spreader. And the reason for that is no matter how many times I tried with a roller or a paintbrush, I couldn't get a smooth surface. So this worked pretty good. I applied about two or three coats just working the paint into the surface. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Ha <laughs> ha